how to transform your metahuman from this to that, and how to create custom textures like makeup or a bloody eye. Here is an easy step-by-step -step guide. First, go to the website 3dscanstore.com. Navigate to the free section and select metahuman identity. Now go ahead and download the free file. Now head to Fab, type in metahuman and download the metahuman plugin and the metahuman lighting project. Install the metahuman plugin into your current engine version. Mine is 5.3. Now go ahead and create a new empty project from the film and video template. In your new project, go to Plugins and search for MetaHuman. Now turn on the MetaHuman plugin and restart the engine. Once restarted, import the FBX file from the 3D scan store folder. Leave the import settings on default and hit Import All. You end up with these three objects. Now right click, go to MetaHuman Animation and select MetaHuman Identity. Open it up and create a connection to your 3D scan store head. Once the head is loaded, make sure that you are directly looking at her. You can even change the field of view to get a close-up of her face. In the top corner, we need to change the lighting setting to unlit. On the left side, select the body and choose a fitting body type. Now go back to your neutral face and promote a frame. Once the frame is promoted, we select the option Track Markers. Now some green markers will appear. They should fit well onto the eyes, eyebrows and mouth area. In the next step, we click on the MetaHuman Identity Solve option. Once the engine is done with that, we go on to Mesh to MetaHuman and select the bottom option. The engine will now create a MetaHuman with her skull and load it up in the MetaHuman Creator. So make sure to open the Creator side in your browser. Select your engine version and start the Creator side. Usually this takes a few minutes. In the meantime, you can check your Unreal project if it finished creating the MetaHuman. If so, you can close the project. Back in the MetaHuman creator, we will open our new MetaHuman. Let's give her a skin color. You should try to stay as close to the reference images as possible. You can find reference images on the 3D scan store side in the Freehead Scan section. Once we gave her a skin color, we can give her some well-fitting eyebrows, as well as some eyelashes. Last but not least, we can give her a fitting hairstyle. You can also change the eye color, but more than that is not really needed. I'm actually happy with her current brown eyes. Now let's export her by going onto the export button in the main menu. Next step is to open the Epic Games Launcher and create a project from the MetaHuman Lighting option that we downloaded at the beginning. Also make sure to use your current Unreal version. Once the project is open, go to the Add option and head to the Add Quixel Bridge content. Ignore the fab pop-up and stay in Quixel. Go to your MetaHumans and you will find our newly created MetaHuman. Download her in the highest quality. Once downloaded, you will be able to find her in the MetaHuman folder, right next to Common. Now drag and drop her blueprint into the scene. In the details panel, we need to reset her location. For a cinematic view, we add a camera into the scene. Switch into the camera view and adjust the camera onto the MetaHuman. Change the crop setting to 2.39 and give it an 80mm focal length to get that cinematic look. Now adjust the focus settings with the focus plane. Go ahead and select the background sphere. Double click on the material and open the parent material. Disconnect the base color string and create a color note by holding 3 on the keyboard and left clicking anywhere. Make the color note almost black and save the material. In the outliner we will shut off almost every single light except key light 2. The scene is now completely set up and we can focus on the MetaHuman. Let's go ahead and import our textures from the 3D scan store file. We now have an albedo, cavity and a normal texture. Now you go to our MetaHuman folder, then go to the face folder, then to materials, and then go to baked. Double click on the first material instance. Now you go back to our previously imported 3D scan store textures. In the material instance, scroll down until you find the albedo slots. Bring in our new albedo map by selecting it and pressing the arrow in the material slot. Do this for the first four slots. Scroll further down to find the normal maps. Only swap the main normal map with our imported one. The cavity map is even more further down. Change it as well. Save the material instance. Now scroll back up to the normal maps and look below the main normal map. These are the wrinkle maps. Locate them and export level 1 to 3 by right clicking, then asset location and bulk export. Make sure to export them at a place where you can find them easily. 
For the next step, you need Photoshop or Affinity Photo. You can try out Affinity Photo for free. Open Affinity Photo and open the exported wrinkle maps. Have all three wrinkle maps open next to each other. Now open the normal map from the 3D scan store folder. For a better overview, I will rename this normal map as the scan store normal. Now copy this scan store normal and paste it into level 1, 2 and level 3. As a blend mode, choose the option Overlay. Now you can see that our normal map is perfectly on the Unreal Engine wrinkle map. Choose Overlay as a blending option on the remaining levels as well. Unreal Engine's wrinkle maps could be a bit too sharp. So let's select the bottom layer, go to Filters and add a Gaussian Blur. 3.4 pixels should be enough. Do the same for the other levels. Make sure to always select only the bottom layer before you apply the Gaussian Blur. And for the third level we do this one more time. Now we will merge the two layers in each level. Select both layers, right click and choose the option Merge by Selection. Repeat this for level 2 and 3 as well. Now export each level. Make sure to give them a new name and not accidentally overriding the wrinkle maps. At the end you have three new wrinkle maps with our scan store normal map implemented on them. Back in our Unreal project you import your new wrinkle maps. Now drag and drop the wrinkle maps into their slots. So level 1 goes into level 1, level 2 into level 2, and level 3 into level 3. Now, you have a hyper-realistic meta-human, but in our case, she has two eyebrows laying over each other. Fix this by selecting her and going to the eyebrows in the details panel. Scroll down and check the option Use Cards. Her eyebrows are now fixed. Since we did this step with the wrinkle maps, the meta-human can now be animated and maintains her hyper-realistic textures, customizing her new textures. If you want to customize her textures, simply open Affinity and open the Albedo map from the 3D Scan Store folder. On the right side you will find various customizable options. For example, we can make the makeup slot visible and choose a style. You can now export this new Albedo map. Back in Unreal we import our new makeup Albedo. Now drag and drop the new Albedo into the four Albedo slots. And now our MetaHuman has a customized face texture. You can use this workflow to add more things to her face. I created for example a bloody eye albedo map. I got random blood images and overlaid them onto her face. This could also work for things like tattoos or scars. So be creative and try things out. If you're curious about the possibilities with such a stunning metahuman, I highly recommend watching my latest Saw project. I used this exact metahuman and her realism helped me to create a complex and intense sequence. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe. Until next time.